Hi guys, um, today I'd like to show you uh, the new bass I just got, uh, just uh, got today, and uh, it's uh, this one. It's uh, Sandberg uh, basic four strings. Here it is. It is gig bag, and uh, I hope and I think it will be uh, my best bass for now. So uh, let's see uh, what we've got in here. So now let's open uh, this uh, gig bag. Seems uh, a great gig bag, great quality, great quality. And here is the base. Yes, Sandberg basic four strings, uh, black burst. It's uh, all black, but, but uh, it's a great bat. We can see the veins of the wood. Uh, it's not glossy, I don't like when it's glossy. You can actually see the veins of the wood. It's uh, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, um, uh, this base is, um, there's a Nash body, a maple neck with ebony fingerboard. And it's the first time uh, I see uh, such a black <laughs> fingerboard. It's beautiful, but it's all black. Uh, okay, now you can see the head with the Sandberg brand. brand, Sandberg brand. And uh, on the other side, the tuners, which, which seem greatly built. And the German quality, made in Germany uh, brand with a serial number. So it's a handmade base in Germany. Um, the overall quality seems really great. Um, uh, I'll talk about the weight, but uh, after, but uh, it's uh, it's a rubber light. It's a rubber light. Uh, the, all the things seem very solid. The finishes are. Uh, seem perfect, uh, really. So, uh, let's see um, more precisely. More precisely. Uh, so, uh, we've got uh, on this base um, uh, um, single pickup, it's a humbucker pickup, um, a Sandberg uh, pickup, um, with uh, a switch between us, um, Passive and active. It's an active base, uh, but uh, which can be used also uh, passively uh, in pulling uh, on this uh, this knob. Uh, the the three knobs here are for uh, the treble, uh, mediums, and a bass. And uh, we've got what we've got here is a little switch. So uh, I must tell you what it is. Uh, this base is not a new base. I didn't uh, buy it new, uh, so it's a second-hand base. And the previous, uh, the previous owner uh, decided to put on uh, this little switch. Uh, it's a switch between uh, parallel mode and series mode. And uh, normally we, you don't have it on uh, on this Sandberg. So uh, I think uh, I could uh, be more versatile. The sound could be more versatile thanks to it. Uh, I will check it uh, afterwards. Um, the, the action is set very low, uh, oh, yes, uh, playability, uh, just uh, playing uh, two or three notes, the uh, playability seems already great, with a very low action, um, everything uh, seems uh, great. So uh, I think now uh, I'm going to try to plug it and see uh, what it sounds like. Okay, so now uh, my bass is tuned, my uh, bass is plugged on uh, my new amp. I also have a new amp. It's a Needham Terranova uh, 501, 500 watts, um, with um, uh, its uh, speakers. So, uh, uh, let's try to play a little to see uh, how it sounds. 
uh, I warn <laughs> that uh, I still don't have a good microphone uh, to record on my computer, so if the sound is not uh, so good, uh, uh, I apologize. Uh, maybe uh, uh, when, I, uh, when I have more subscribers, <laughs> I could, <laughs> you know what to do. Uh, I'll be able to afford a, a, bet, um, a better microphone um, to, to record. So, uh, let's try. I think I'm on series mode, but I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, we, we will, we'll see later. sound uh, first impression is that uh, it's a uh, it's a huge sound uh, uh, I also have a, a new amp so I don't uh, don't know exactly what's about the bass and what's about the amp but uh, uh, it's uh, very powerful uh, the precision of the sound is very very good the, the e, uh, e string sounds thunderous Yes, I switch on the other on the other side. I think that's that is. I think that is the series mode, and that. I think. I think it's a parallel mode, and it's a bit uh, a bit smoother, um, a bit smoother sound. is set very low we can also hear a lot uh, a bit of fret noise but that's what I call a good fret now good fret uh, noise when we hear it's uh, pretty aggressive uh, and uh, to play a metal as I play in a metal band uh, so it should be very very good um, what else can I say um, ah yes it's a, it was a active mode I can try a passive mode big difference uh, in passive mode uh, maybe it's uh, uh, a little weaker but uh, uh, hardly hardly <laughs> there's still a lot a lot of sound uh, my, my amp is uh, about uh, a quarter of a <laughs> max power and it, uh, it sounds very very loud
So I, it's, a, it's a first impression, but uh, I love what I hear. I think it's by far the best bass I, I ever owned. So um, um, to finish this uh, little review, uh, I'd like uh, to tell you uh, why I had to buy this bass. So why this bass? Uh, why did I buy this one? Uh, uh, several reasons. Um, first of all, um, um, the, for a few months I'm looking at the Sandberg basses and uh, I really uh, love the, the, what I see. Um, uh, I, saw, I, I looked on the Thoman site, uh, there's a lot of Sandberg and uh, they're, they're, they're gorgeous. Uh, if you talk, uh, talk about the look and this one uh, makes no exception. <laughs> You know, you see this color, it's black burst. So it's a black, but it's not a glossy black, uh, uh, a flashy black. It's really, uh, you can see, as I said, uh, the veins of the wood very clearly. Uh, it's, uh, it's really gorgeous basses. Uh, but uh, second reason, uh, it's a European made base. I'm, uh, I mean European, <laughs> uh, even if I'm not German, I'm French. But uh, I like the fact that uh, everything is made, handmade in Germany, uh, rather than uh, the other side of the world, uh, in Indonesia or, or China or somewhere else. It's, uh, it's a good point. And, um, and uh, I, I, I read and I heard a lot of good things about the Basis. And my first impression of today, uh, I, I'm not disappointed at all. Uh, the other reason, I thought I lacked a base uh, for, for now. Uh, I liked a, a base, uh, what I would call my main base. Uh, I play, um, I play uh, gigs in the um, uh, Metallica tribute band, uh, so I, I like uh, to have a my main base for uh, the gigs, for a concert. And uh, for, for now, I, I, had, um, I, have, I, I already have uh, several basses. I had a Yamaha, a TRBX 505, it's a five strings because I needed a five strings to do uh, some songs. But uh, I like, I like this instrument, but I don't want to, to make, um, to play on a five string uh, every song. Uh, most of the song, maybe uh, 95 percent, 95 percent of the songs I play uh, don't need five strings. So the fact of having five, five strings to play uh, four string uh, songs, uh, it's a, a bit more complicated. I, 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 and it's um, easier to to make mistakes, I think, and uh, it's a good, very good bass, and I. I, I'm, I'm planning to keep it, uh, to play some tunes. Uh, but for my main bass, it didn't match. Um, the other bass I bought uh, and I currently have uh, is, uh, maybe uh, you saw my review, is a Sterling Stingray short scale. I wanted a short scale. I talked in another uh, video about my little hands, small bassist hands. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, and uh, I needed a short scale because on some uh, some songs I have a stretch problem uh, for with my small fingers. Uh, I, I couldn't play easily uh, some uh, some tunes and some uh, bass lines. Uh, so it, it was cool, and I, I I like it, and I plan to keep it too. But uh, short scale making of a short scale my main instrument. I don't want it either uh, because. Uh, I don't want to be depend, to depend on the short scale basis and uh, afterwards uh, being uh, unable to play a long scale uh, bass. I'd like to uh, play a normal bass, a long scale bass. Uh, so it's first uh, reason. And second reason is that the low end on the, the, low end on the short scale bass, uh, it lacks precision for me. Uh, when you play the E string, uh, and even more, if you detune, uh, to uh, uh, if you detune, uh, half step down, uh, uh, it lacks definition uh, clearly. So it's okay, and uh, uh, I, I know people play short scale uh, 
as their main base, but uh, I prefer to keep the short scale only for um, the songs that uh, I struggle to play with a long scale bass. So I, la I lacked uh, a four string bass, um, a long scale bass, and uh, this instrument, this sandbag, I think has everything <laughs> to, to be the perfect bass for me. Uh, as you, uh, I, I just played it five minutes, uh, five minutes you saw, <laughs> it was, wasn't very good, but uh, I instantly felt uh, comfortable, comfortable with it. Uh, I, um, I think for gigs and even for my covers, it will be from uh, now on uh, my main bass. Um, I love it. Um, uh, I can't, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I want to show it uh, uh, for you can see uh, how perfect it is. It's, uh, I, I'm not used to that kind of instrument. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I owned, but I don't own anymore, a French-made bass uh, which was called a Lag, a Lag uh, collection. Uh, it was a French-made bass from the early 90s. Um, and I think it's a f f the only bass that could uh, could compare with uh, with uh, it, uh, but I don't own it anymore. I had to sell it uh, a few years ago, and uh, from this time uh, I, I have good bases, but not uh, at this level, of this standard. Uh, it's, uh, it's an incredible base. So uh, another thing is that uh, I never wanted to spend uh, more than a thousand euros on a base. It was my limit. Uh, a limit I fixed and uh, and I didn't want to go over it and uh, I had uh, the occasion to uh, to find this one for 900 euros uh, it's a second hand uh, base but perfect it's perfect it's perfect you could say it's uh, you could say it's new and uh, so I would like to thank Olivier uh, which is the guy who, who, who bought me this base um, because um, I will make, I think, uh, a good use of it. So thank you, Olivier, if you uh, hear me. And uh, so 900 euros for great bass. Uh, Sandbergs, uh, it's, 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 uh, um, are not expensive for what they are. This, uh, this bass is uh, 1,350 euros a new on Toman site. And uh, I read a lot of comments that said that for the quality, it, it wasn't uh, expensive. It was rather cheap. It could compare. Uh, I see comparison. I saw comparisons with uh, uh, Fender US, uh, with uh, Music Man, uh, bases uh, that are along uh, about uh, 2,000 euros. Uh, and uh, there for 900 euros, I think it's a bargain. <laughs> and uh, I can't wait to, to play it a lot and um, to show you covers um, with my new toy Sandberg Basic for Blackburst. Thanks for watching. If you watch till the end, <laughs> it was a bit long. And uh, see you soon. <laughs>